Yeah, you gotta look at our mom's journey of acceptance, it's not really ours. Yeah. <laughs> well, his story is kind of like yours I'm because sure you, you his really brother is also gay. Really? But yeah. we're not too. And I, oh, no. I look cute. Like, I he's cuter than like, <laughs> his, his brother. Who do you think is cuter? <laughs> um, Both. Are you, are you two twins? <laughs> got it, Vic. What are you on the spot? Are you two twins? Yeah. We're twins, yeah. I got a nose job, so I don't tell. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing a flash deal of $10 for the book, just so we're trying to get the name out there. So yeah, it's a good book, and uh, Amazon named it a bestseller, so we're very proud of it. What, what, is it, what is it about? It's called Pray the Gateway. It's when we came out, our mom threw holy water on us. Oh, it's our coming. holy water on you? Yeah, so it's our coming out story. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we think it's a good book, but we're biased. Really? Uh, I thought Mark Sigels and then We Dance was the best gay book. Yeah, 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 no, 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 we're giving him a run for the money. Are you really? And absolutely. Oh. I mean, I'm biased, but I think it's an amazing <laughs> book. What, what's your name? Uh, Are you selling it down at the, the, the gay bookstore? The... Yeah, I mean, we're in a few. We're in Mar we no, just got into the one here, the one that's open in the community center here in New York. Oh, we had a book signing there. Oh, you B did? BSQDM. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. yeah. We had that one, and now it's in Barnes and Nobles, so we're very happy. And how long did it take you to write it? This took us four years, but it just came out last year. And how old are you? How old do I look? I can't tell. I'm 25. 25. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Wow. But like, if anyone asks, 18. I'm fascinated with identical twins. Oh yeah. Because I was a calling activist. I wanted to have a son that was a lighter boy really? raised than me. Because when you read about identical twins, they have you have the closest relationship known to human beings. Yeah, we. They can fill each other's sentences. As babies, you have baby talk to the parents can't I mean understand. he's a little stupider than me so we don't really necessarily fish other senses. Well I don't want I, the, one of the very interesting things which is negative about twins is as as a group they have a little bit lower IQ than average believe it or not. Oh really? I'll take it. I'll take it. I think that that must be the most wonderful experience. Thank you. It's, it's, it's have you ever heard of identical oh, twins know what they tell us about themselves? It, 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 Ready? I'll bring a copy to you. Okay. And I'll show it to you. I'll tell you. I think I know what you're talking about slightly. It was just incredible. Yeah. Because people all see, we live in a world where everyone thinks that it's all nurture. Mm -hmm. But it's so much, I mean, it's, it's all nurture, but so much of it is nature and yeah. genetics. Yeah. Like you've seen those documentaries, when separated at birth, they, they read the books the same way, backwards and forwards. They both have, even they never knew each other, they have the same taste in women. Okay. There's a famous, Gay triplets, you know, that discovered each other here okay. in New York. And they got together. One guy kept going around camera, they said, calling by the wrong name, we went over, and they made the paper. Twins find each other because of the time they separated twins at birth. And then a guy in Long Island sees a story about these two guys, they look just like him. And he ran up there and they all got together. They, had, they all had separated at a young age, they were all wow. early 20s. And That's he said, it's all the same, it's all the same. They all like the same food. The same music, the same type of women. Our band was from Baghdad. That's good. Uh, yeah. So, where are you located? We're in Michigan, but we're traveling between Michigan and New York. So we're kind of on the line right now. I have an eyebrow pen that I use sometimes to brush it up. Do you have the you have tattoos on so people can tell you apart? You can probably. You got a sleeve. I got a half sleeve, so the sleeves are different. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The sleeves are a little long. And how much is a book? Ten dollars. Oh, I'll, buy I'll, buy, I'll buy one. I'll buy one. It's a good book in our opinion. <laughs> <laughs>